Okay, uh, today we have this uh, 55 inch uh, LG uh, LED set. Uh, the actual model number on this set is a 55 Larry Sam 4500 uh, UD. And the problem that we're having with this set is that we are getting uh, backlights but uh, no video. And I'll just fire it up so you can see. And as you can see, the screen lights up. Uh, but there's actually no video, uh, no menu. Um, I think it did have sound. So that leads us to believe uh, somewhere kind of in the uh, T-Con area is where we'll start, where we'll, where we'll begin our troubleshooting. So uh, let's uh, take the back off and see what's, getting, uh, what's going down. Okay, so now we've got the back cover off. And uh, as you can see, the back lights are lit, as you can see through the holes here. Um, See there? Should come right on. There we go. So back lights are lit, but like I said, we're not getting any video. Um, so the TCOM board is actually located up underneath the shield. So we have to remove the shield first. And um, so we can get the rest of the TV, the uh, TCOM board. Four screws here. And then once we removed our metal cover to support the stand, we just removed the actual uh, shield of the T-Con board. And this actually uses a, a number one a smaller Phillips bit. Uh, my advice is to use just a little screwdriver. To see that what's going to happen is you're actually going to strip it. So, um, i find one here. Got a bunch of them, just can't find it when you need it, right? Okay, so we removed our uh, shield. Um, and just put two of the screws back here in the T-Con board. Now, uh, the original problem with this set is that the, uh, when I first got it, um, well, that was the original problem. It was uh, backlight but no video, right, no display. Was this fuse here uh, was open, okay? And so what I did is, of course, I checked it. I'll just double check it for you so you can see. Uh, this fuse right here. Okay, uh, that is definitely open. It should be reading it short, right? Okay, um, so what I'll do is I'll check both sides of the fuse uh, to ground and make sure that it's not, nothing else shorted there to ground uh, in that particular circuit. And it seemed to be okay. Okay, although that side is reading a little low, maybe. 300 ohms on one side and okay I'm touching the uh, metal thing okay yeah and, uh, on the other side it's about 6.4k um, so what I actually did is I actually uh, just jumped across it with a pico fuse the same value and what actually happened was um, I'll show you in a minute Okay, like I said, after I had jumped across the fuse and turned the set on, I actually seen something on the main board, smoke. And, <laughs> okay, and uh, I was like kind of surprised there because I had it on for uh, one, uh, no, one second. And then I... And I'll show you right here. All right, I'm gonna get my glasses so I can see. right here this transistor uh, as you can see it is burnt up so it actually did smoke the uh, transistor there get a clear look there okay and see I got a circle in red okay so what I actually did after that was I uh, double check um, the TCOM board Okay, and um, I actually checked the uh, capacitors here. Uh, 
where were they at? Uh, let's see. I checked all the capacitors. Now those are reading short. Okay. What I actually did is I unplugged the ribbon connector going from the TCOM board to the panel, recheck them, and look at that. So that tells me the short is somewhere on this driver board connected to the panel, okay? So, well, I'm really going to, I'm just going to show you one more time. I'm going to plug this back in, clip it down, go back to those same capacitors. They're all reading short with that, disc, with that connected. Okay, so, um... So actually what I did is I just used my little prior here and I just went up underneath here and I pried up all the little clips off the bottom and I also disconnected the speakers which are located on here. Speakers here and here on this side and also disconnected the control panel from the main board and uh, it should come right off. As you can see, okay, right here is our panel connectors. I believe this on this side is the one that was uh, we were disconnecting, uh, reading a short. So this actually, actually as you actually, as you can actually see that is a circuit board there. Okay, going across here, there's one on this side and one on that side. So obviously the problem here is somewhere on here. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll have to take these metal brackets off. Um, in order to get to it, and I believe I can just take this one off. I'm not sure. There we have it. And as you can see, this is our problem right here. What I suspected. Come on. <laughs> Zoom in, baby. Water damage. right here. Obviously, look at that. That's our problem. So, all I'm going to do now is check when you shorter components and see. Uh, but um, I've noticed in a lot of cases with these sets, uh, people will spray stuff on the screen and it will actually, it will actually let it run down to the bottom of the TV. And this is what will happen and the customer will never tell you, okay? And you have to find that for yourself. Um, so, okay, once again, without my light, uh, making all that excess brightness, but you can see it better, but uh, there it is, it's our board right here, and uh, that's it. So, um, I think those are our capacitors, so I, what I'm actually gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna try and uh, find out which one is shorted, and uh, it, looks, it looks like the bonding cable is messed up also. Um, let's see here. Put on my Superman glasses.
we might be able to get away with that. It doesn't look like there's any damage on the actual ribbon connector because if there was, that they'd be pretty much done for. But that does look pretty good right there. There's no nothing breaking or burnt or cracked or peeling off. Uh, so I'm going to see which one of these are shorted and see what I can do if I can perform a miracle here, which I probably can't, but want her to try, right? Get our meter on continuity. Hopefully you can see why I'm doing this. That one's reading short, and this one's reading short. The third one is reading okay. These little smaller ones, I can't even see those. That one's reading okay. And that one's reading okay. So we just got these two here that are reading short. This one. And this one. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it up with some little alcohol and uh, see if I can remove those uh, very, very carefully uh, with my hot air gun or I try my iron first, whichever one I think is easier because I don't want to actually uh, melt, use my hot air gun, I don't want to actually melt this uh, ribbon connector right here because uh, once I do that, uh, the ball game is pretty much over then. So we'll see what happens. Okay. I actually did remove that capacitor, um, which is located right here. Okay. And basically, all I did was I just put some solder on like each side of the capacitor, like so, on the, and on this side. I just kept going back and forth until it slid off. Okay, so you want to plug, like I say, you don't want to apply uh, any heat on there. Uh, just go back and forth, and the capacitor should slide right off. And then I just get the first one that was reading short, and I'll just check it, check the one next to it, and again, and the short is actually gone. Capacitor is right here. You can see that. Move it over. Where you at? Okay. Let's see. Move it over some more. Zoom out a little bit there. Okay, right here, and let's check that. Yes, that is short. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a capacitor off another board around the same size. Uh, the values on these aren't really, really that important as long as it's the same size. Uh, they're just basically for uh, filtering. And um, so, uh, let's see if I can find one the same size and put it back and put it on there. Okay, so actually I found a capacitor um, off of a junk uh, main board. Right here, and uh, I apologize if you can't see me doing this. I'm just gonna lay it on there. Okay, take my soldering iron, put a little solder on the tip if I can find it. And 
just do one side at a time. Okay, looks like it's on there. No short. And uh, this connected to the next one. Okay, so let's uh, put this metal plate back on here, metal bracket, turn it around, fry it up, and let's see what happens. Okay, uh, we've got our TCOM board back in. As you can see, we have our ribbon connector. Um, plugged in and we'll just go across these capacitors again okay they are not reading short okay so we did we, we did remove that short from the driver board the panel driver board okay it seems to be okay okay uh, next thing I'm going to check uh, I did use the um, I put back the old TCOM board in because the new one that I had purchased uh, from eBay the actual connector right here was bad. Uh, it was actually loose. And so I just re-double checked uh, this old TCOM board and just put a fuse uh, across there, uh, Pico fuse. And I'm actually gonna put some tape on there um, uh, before I put this shield back on there so it won't touch or arc or anything once I put this back on there. I'm just gonna put some electric electrical tape across there. And I did replace uh, the main board. Uh, remember the old main board, like I told you, um, was burnt. I had a burnt um, transistor right around with this red circle. Uh, so I do have a new main board in there. Um, so let's fire it up and uh, let's see what we got here. Plug it in. Okay, now this thing we want to check is our 12 volts. Okay, I'm just going to grab my meter. I've got, I've got the around this uh, alligator clip going to the chassis. My meter on voltage and check for our 12 volts, which we should have going across there. Okay, looks good, looks good. Now, I'm also gonna check uh, the output side of the TCOM board at the bottom going to the panel. Okay, and uh, I've some of my other videos I show you how to check these test points. Uh, which are located right here. Okay. And make sure that we have voltage on the output side. Okay. Okay. Okay, looks pretty good on most of these. Okay. Okay. And we'll go to our other side, the side that was reading about bad, I guess, you want to say. And we got some test points. So let me get my uh, goggles here. Zoom out a little bit for you. Okay. You can see here. Okay, both just on there. And let's see here. We got some more test points up here. Ah, oh, come on. It's so small. Make sure you get some, uh, a meter with so much thinner leaves than I got. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now the real test is turning around and make sure that we have an image on the screen. So we'll do that. Okay. Uh, as you can see, um, we did perform a uh, slight miracle <laughs> on this TV here. And uh, it's one thing, a uh, lesson learned is just, uh, if you see a short on the TCOM board or the fuse open, uh, check all of those uh, brown, 
surface mount capacitors because those are will those are real troublemakers okay and uh, make sure there are none shorted they're actually none that's supposed to be reading short okay uh, if it is just take it out and you know test it but um, it's supposed to show you people will spray stuff on the screen uh, and uh, will actually run down here and um, damage the driver boards and in a lot of cases um, most most of the time when that happens uh, those driver boards are beyond repair so uh, which means that the panel you know is bad and there's nothing to do with it. Just, you just have to throw the TV away um, so uh, we did uh, get it straight here we get it fixed and uh, hey I appreciate you guys for watching uh, appreciate all you guys for subscribing and leaving me comments and uh, make sure that you do subscribe if you haven't for more videos and once again God bless and uh, this handle. Yeah. Big dog out.